Following the announcement of Shane McGowan's death on Thursday, the Pogue star's wife has disclosed the cause of his demise. McGowan had battled a brain disease for eight years. Just last week, McGowan, 65, who had been suffering from viral encephalitis, was allowed to leave the hospital. Early on Thursday morning, he passed away in his Dublin home, surrounded by his loved ones. According to the New York Times, his wife Victoria Mary Clark verified that pneumonia was the cause of death. The Pogues frontman's passing was revealed in a devastating message posted on the band's social media pages, along with information on his wife, sister Siobhan, and father Maurice. Funeral arrangements have not yet been finalized. The band's best-known song, Fairy Tale of New York has been a UK Christmas number one for years, and the band's demise has sparked an outpouring of tributes from celebrities and Pogues fans. It said, We announce Shane McGowan's passing with the heaviest of hearts and the deepest sorrow. Shane passed away quietly this morning, November 30, 2023, at 3 a.m., surrounded by his wife Victoria and family. His family found solace in the reading of the final rites and prayers. He is survived by his father, Maurice, sister Siobhan, wife Victoria, and a wide range of friends. More information will be released soon, but at this very difficult time, the family requests privacy. Later on social media, Victoria paid more homage to her spouse, whom she wed in December 2018 in Copenhagen, Denmark. I am going to miss him so much, was the message she wrote under a photo she posted of McGowan grinning on X, the old Twitter. His eyes, his laugh, his voice, his sense of humor, and his smile, every aspect of him. Subsequently, she disclosed that McGowan had passed away by binge watching the beloved Irish comedy series Father Ted on Channel 4. In the hospital, she gave him a portable DVD player and mentioned that he was obsessed with the Graham Linehan program, which followed two unfortunate priests who lived on the west coast of Ireland. The son was informed by Victoria, 57, that we brought a little DVD player to Shane, and friends have been giving him presents of classic movies on DVD so he wouldn't get bored. However, he can't seem to quit playing the Father Ted box set. Shane laughs uncontrollably while watching that all day. The Irish legend had been suffering from poor health due to years of drink and drug misuse, and in recent years, he was relegated to a wheelchair and needed help from his wife and caregiver at home. In a biography he co-wrote with his wife, he even recounted how, starting when he was five years old, his uncle used to bring him bottles of Guinness from the bar every night. McGowan was initially sent to the hospital in December of last year due to viral encephalitis. He sent his hordes of followers warm wishes and all the luck in the world, however it was evident he was uncomfortable. Hello, friends, I have encephalitis, and I'm sitting here, he remarked. I'm dying from the light. However, I wanted to wish you a very happy Christmas, happy new year, and many more. All the love and luck in the world. Love, Cheyenne, happy holidays and new year. However, he has had a number of well-known celebrities pay him visits, including U.S. musician Bruce Springsteen and his Pogues comrades Spider Stacy and Terry Woods. The Born to Run singer was seen in a photo honoring McGowan and pleading with him to continue fighting for his health. Victoria stated in her announcement of the renowned Pink Star's passing yesterday that she was blessed beyond words to have had him love her so endlessly and unconditionally. You meant the world to me and you will live in my heart forever, she exclaimed. Bandmate Spider Stacy wrote, Oh Captain, on a black and white snapshot of the singer playing Live to X, formerly Twitten. Captain of mine. Our terrifying journey is over.